create a mismatch in the coverage with this money play. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Alright, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So guys, I want to talk about another uh, play that I'm actually going to use as one of my hot audibles. Out of the uh, single back wing pair uh, formation, this is going to be the Jet 6 Drive. Now, you can find this play in a ton of playbooks. Uh, it's in the Ravens, obviously the Cardinals, because this is a breakdown. The Browns, the Steelers, the Jaguars, the Titans, Saints, Redskins, Raiders, Rams, and Dolphins. So if you're not using the single back wing pair, I definitely recommend jumping into it, primarily because you really got an effective run get, uh, run play that you can go and use to abuse your opponent with. And now if you have pass plays, it's definitely going to open up your offense. All right, so once again, this is going to be a play that we're going to use against our, our, our uh, opponent. It's a jet six drive. And what's What's this play makes what makes this play really cool is that you can run it two different ways against your opponent and creating a lot of mismatches mismatches with it. So this is what I really do like about this particular play. So against man coverage, you can run it either where you could attack your opponent off to the right or off to the left. Now Ideally, you want to use this in a first down type of situation, and the reason why is because uh, Jones Lo or Logan, uh, who is my uh, running back number two that I put in the fullback slot uh, position, if I smart route his route, you can see he actually goes up 10 yards and there's a little cross over the middle. Now, the other adjustment I like to do is I like to take the inside tight end Grisham and put him on a, uh, a, f a flat route. And the reason why is that uh, the man defender is never going to get out to this guy in time for this quick hike play. So if you got a guy that runs a lot of man coverages, this is a good way to go ahead and attack your opponent with that. So that's what I do like about this good play is that that man defender is going to be pretty much out of position majority of the times because of the matching principles of this game. So let's just go ahead and show this to you once again. And right there, as you can see, that man defender is completely out of position. And if I turn that up, I can get a good 10 yards with it. Now, what's cool about this play, too, is also you've got that deep crosser by your, your running back number two that actually can go ahead and turn that into a big play opportunity for yourself, too. So that's what I do like about this play against, uh, against uh, someone who does a lot of man blitzes. So we're going to drag up Logan. And you've also got the inside position uh, by this tight end over the middle, too. And of course, on both sides, you've got uh, the tight end number two uh, that should be in a man position, uh, beating position too. Now, where this play really shines is against someone that runs a lot of cover two. So once again, if you run this play uh, with the uh, hot routed uh, deep dig route and then the uh, the um, route uh, which is going to be the flat route uh, a lot of times what's going to happen is that this corner route will be open for you if the defender comes down and plays the flat but if he's playing like cover two the flat route gets naked underneath so you can pick up an easy four or five yards with that so I like this play just because it causes matchup problems and you also got this little check down with the route uh, off to uh, off with the running back so he's really not going to know what to do. He's, that area is just going to get flooded against cover two. Now, uh, if you wanted to, you can run levels off to left hand, uh, off to left hand side. So we're just going to drag up that running back. You've got this area that you can check down to um, back on this side. I can go ahead and just look to the levels. You've got this crossing uh, crosser right over the middle. And if you just want to do a quick hit with the crosser, you can. It's just underneath. It's just to go ahead and keep your opponent guessing. So against cover three, you still got the pretty much the same reads. So we're going to go ahead and set this up. We're going to be looking to the flat. A lot of times that flat player is going to be on those one-on-one -on -one opportunities where you can turn it up for big yards. So once again, we're going to go ahead and attack the flat. And if the defender doesn't come to the flat, you just go ahead and pop them and take those sideline yards. Also, what you can do is go to the opposite direction with the levels concept. So you've got the crosser that you can attack, force your opponent to defend that backside flat, drag up uh, that uh, tight end number two. You can check it down to that block and release and give yourself some easy yards. Or you can pop them right in the middle of the seam uh, if you catch them sleeping. So that's what I like about it. So what about against cover four? Well, 
pretty much the same concepts. I'm just going to go ahead and attack that flat, and that flat will be naked against cover four. And you could run into a lot of cover four with this particular play, and the reason why is that it's a heavy running formation. So uh, this is a good way to go and attack your opponent uh, in the flat, and if that defender comes down, you can hit him with a corner in the corner. So that flat's open, just go ahead and attack it and force your opponent to defend those flats. Conversely, if you want to go ahead and, and, and turn it to the other, other side, you've got those level concepts that your opponent's going to have to defend, or you can just check it down to that running back number two in the weak wing position. Once again, we're going to take a look at the crossing concepts, levels, and we're just going to go ahead and hit our, our opponent at the next level. So guys, if you like these type of tips, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button. And once again, I'll be rolling out um, basically gameplay of me using these schemes, making reads, making bad reads, making bad decisions, making good decisions, getting uh, getting first downs, and getting touchdowns. So to my subscribers, thank you for your support. To my patrons, thank you so much for your support. And until next time.